Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have a Solzid Ninja with the tier 7 um, Soviet premium tank destroyer. It is the SC-12244. So as you can see, Solzid Ninja here is trying to get the third mark on the SC-12244. And um, yeah, they are going to be using some very nice equipment with a gun lane drive. A standard gun lane drive, you know. Very standard stuff, but then you have a bond defense and bond gun rammer. Going to use a lot of uh, um, gold rounds as well, even though it has a tier 5 matchup. But when you do go for the third mark, it, it is understandable that you want to shoot some more gold. I'm um, also using a gun rammer directive. And, you know, if you also have brothers in arms, you also have the premium consumable over here, you can actually get this vehicle's reload down to like sub 6 seconds. So it's, it's 390 alpha damage with a su sub 6 second it's just insane it's like tier 10 dpm you know at tier 7 so yes so the ninja is going to show you exactly why this vehicle is is crazy at tier 7 with this dpm and i mean the pen is you know not bad 175 on the standard rounds you get 217 on your goal rounds very very nice a very very nice tier 7 uh, premium tank destroyer but uh yeah it is only solid ninja over here but they actually have the tiger one that tiger one keep an eye out on the tiger one is going to be very very assisting very uh helpful i guess um in this battle but yeah everyone else doesn't really seem to be <laughs> helping so far three nothing already less than two minutes into the game one and a half minutes into the battle and it is already three nothing um, for the enemy team. So, yes, Sunset Ninja and the lovely Tiger One over here do have quite a lot to do if they want to win this battle. Considering that all their teammates actually went down south, and it seems like they're just dying. It's already 4 nothing. But there we go, HG switch for the Super Alcat. Very weakly armed, hitting the Harlingen 568. Just imagine if you can pen every single one of those um, HG rounds. Going with a regular round now, tracking the SU-85 over here. And just, you know, this vehicle's crazy rate of fire, as you can see, it's just insane. 390 Alpha, where this reload is, it's like, it shouldn't be at tier 7, you know? Just absolutely crazy. Like I said, it's like tier 10 uh, DPM. I think you can get up to like 4,000 uh, DPM or so with this vehicle. 4,000 damage per minute at tier 7. Just, just let that sink in for a second. It's just... You can pretty much finish off the entirety of the enemy team in, I don't know, just over two minutes, I guess. <laughs> two and a half minutes if they just sit in front of you and you can finish off everyone. It's just insane. Just absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess you do need to do that when it's seven one to the enemy team and they're up by 3,500 HP. So, Solid Ninja is now pushing towards the middle after going north and seeing no one over there, catching the pool on the backside. Not using it, but the aim, I guess. Just clutch firing into the backside. They were T1 Heavy actually hitting the Jackson. I thought it was going to go towards the T1 Heavy, but the Jackson is the one taking the hit instead. King Tiger getting hit as well. And yeah, this is where you want to be. This is where you want to be with your AC-12244. When everyone, everyone just drives in front of you. Jackson and MT trying to fire at the someone hitting the Jackson. It's just, they're just clumped together, wanting to get hit by Salsa Ninja over here. But still, 10-3 in favor of the enemy team. Down by 2,000 hit points now. And yeah, you guess you got the three kills, right? Guess you got those three kills so far. <laughs> oh my goodness, can we make this four? Cannon make this fall with his T3045. Easy shot in the backside, getting the fourth kill. 2693 damage so far. SU152, this is dangerous. Don't want to get hit. Luckily, you can hide behind it. The SU fires at the Tiger. The Tiger 1 that I told you earlier, this is going to be very helpful in this battle. Gets the first um, kill that is by someone else on the team, right? But it's still not even close. 11 5. The enemy team is still up by HP. They're still up by, okay, by 5 francs now. Five kills, <laughs> and it's 11 to 6. It's just crazy. So, it's also Ninja just pressing W and shooting. You know, what else do you need to do? Panzer 4 F2 spotting the cap circle. Aim, 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 shoot. I guess you don't need to aim. You can just shoot, and it's going to work today. It's just like RNG. RNG is with you, Salsa Ninja. Just go. Go forth. 
go forth and do the damage. The King Tiger's pushing forwards as well. Need to watch out. Actually, firing on the move and going through the side of the King Tiger over here. One more shell. Doesn't even need to aim. Even when stunned, everything, everything is going in Sunset Ninja's favor over here. Need to finish off this Panzer Fly. And you just need to... <laughs> what? Just fire on the move while stunned. Catching just the, um, the little area of the hull that was visible. Absolutely insane. Making this a 12-8 in favor of the enemy team still. Maybe change to an HR and turn one shot the Chaffee over here. There we go. There we go. Unfortunately, hitting the track of the Chaffee not going through. And that means that the Chaffee finishes off the Yag Panther. But the second shell, the second shell will easily finish off that tier 5 American light tank. So, yes. Less than six minutes, right? Five and a half minutes into this battle. 5,000 damage and eight kills. Insane. Insane stuff. And it's like single handedly holding this team in this battle. Everyone else already died. Okay, so 13 teammates already died without doing anything. Like nothing at all. And there's a super kind of pushing forward and shoot the Tiger 1. The Tiger 1 is pretty much the only. Only teammate who is there to support Salted Ninja in this battle. Can we catch a super effect on the move shooting again and it works? Like I said, it's like the RNG, the RNG gods are with you here. Salted Ninja putting one into the M6, which is actually, in my opinion, one of the best S6 vehicles in the game at the moment. Just trying to catch the turret of the M6, unfortunately, doesn't go through misses. You know, I guess stun does actually work on Salsa Ninja sometimes. MT25 decides to try and go forwards, but Salsa Ninja turns around and clutches him in the face. It's 10 kills already and 6,000 damage. Two American heavies versus a one shot Tiger 1 and an SC2. Bouncing the T1 heavy an SC1 to 44 with 600 HP. M6 goes forwards. The Tiger 1 tracks him and Salsa Ninja finishes the M6 off. M6 thought, you know, oh. That dude did 390 damage and he just fired, so I guess I can I can comfortably push forth, right? Uh, no. No, you can't actually do that. Like I said, 6 second-ish reload if you have, like, um, a bond drama, if you have the, the wrecked, if you have brothers in arms events. It can actually go below 6 seconds, which is insane for 390 alpha. And, yeah, you can see exactly how insane this is in the hands of a very capable World of Tanks player. 12 kills, 6,483 damage. Maybe, maybe we can switch from HE. There we go, HE switch for the Bishop. Can it go through? Can it go through? The HE is a pretty nice 64 penetration, but the Bishop is not a very... Okay. I guess, I guess, you know, you can just keep on driving forwards and smacking people in the face. Oh, no. 13. 13 kills. 6,900 damage in less than 8 minutes. What can I say, you know? What can I actually say about this battle? Sunset Ninja just pressed W and, and clicked on the mouse, right? And everything seemed to be working. Like the Tiger One says, just crazy, crazy stuff over here with the SU-12244. <clears throat> but yeah, we want the 14th kill, right? We want the Vizenai's Heroes Medal, which is like the hardest medal to get inside the game. The hardest achievement for everyone, for anyone. S51, where is that F51? Where is that S51? There it is! Until the, until, until, until the S51 misses! Imagine if the S51 actually launches us over here. But now it's just a feels good moment. Aiming, 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 and destroying that final artillery on the enemy team. Securing the win. Securing the 14 kills. 7,293 damage. And just just an amazing game of World of Tanks with the AC-12244. It's like... No one did anything, right? It was crazy. It's like the entire team, except for the lovely Tiger 1, right? That followed um, Sons of Ninja in this battle from start to finish, supported him from start to finish. But like the other 13 vehicles just didn't seem to do anything. They were just falling left, right and center. And it was all up to Sunset Ninja to pick up the pieces and get the win. And that is exactly what they did. Just playing this one perfectly, getting 14 kills. 
14 kills, 7,300 damage. Um, but yeah, how crazy, how crazy was this game exactly? Let's go and check the post-game stats to figure that out. There we go. Getting the third mark of excellence. This is such a such a lovely game to get your third mark on, right? Just making all of the medals grounded even more. Ace tanker, of course, for 2,247 base experience. Insane stuff. Um, the best Gucci's medal for finishing off both the S-51 and the British Bishop, the two artillery on the enemy team. The Rosaline's Heroes medal for destroying 14 of the enemy vehicles at least, right? 14 or 15. Getting 14 kills over here. That is something that only like a very, very small percentage of people have actually achieved inside World of Tanks. A tank sniper for causing the highest damage from a distance of at least 300 meters. So you don't really expect to get a lot of tank snipers with the SC-12244. It's not really the most accurate of tank destroyers, but it, it relies more on the DPM. Well, like I said, the crazy DPM, kind of like tier 10, DPM that this vehicle has. So getting a tank sniper, lovely as well. Defender for the 73 defense points received over here. High caliber, of course, for 7,293 damage. <laughs> I mean, Top Gun for at least six kills in the battle. It's an awesome game by Salted Ninja. And yeah, like I said, just a one man army, right? It's a one man army with a, a Tiger 1 for, for moral support, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sons of Ninja just carrying this team to victory, firing 25 shells, hitting 24, 22 of those penetrated, so that's like almost perfect, it's almost perfect what Sons of Ninja did over here. One of those was actually, I believe, a hit on the Chaffee as well, so 23 did damage. Um, yeah, from distance of more than 300 meters, 2,667, like I said, it's not a very accurate vehicle, so the fact that you got so much damage from 300 meters or more is very impressive. Five hits received, one penetrated, four did not, which is rather surprising. Um, this vehicle is, it doesn't have the strongest armor, but it can bounce some tier 5, uh, maybe some tier 6 vehicles as well. 225 damage blocked by the armor, two vehicles spotted, 15 vehicles damaged, so... Uh, yeah, every single vehicle on the enemy team was damaged by Solzid Ninja. The only one that Solzid Ninja didn't finish off was the SU-152, right, that the Tiger 1 finished off earlier. That is the only vehicle that's not been killed by Solzid Ninja over here. 73 defense points, like we said, traveling all around the map to get the shots, to get the kills, to get everything. And yeah, in this 8 minute, 38 second battle... 7,000 damage and 14 kills. Absolutely crazy stuff. Even getting some credits, right? It is a premium vehicle after all. Um, did fire a lot of gold rounds, but they also did switch to HE. Switch to AP as well. When needed. So, yes, did make um, a pretty nice amount. I mean, 50,000 credits is definitely not bad. But, yeah, this is it. Just, just crazy. Just an absolutely crazy round of World of Tanks. 14 kills is just insane every single time I see it. Like, Unless, of course, it's like everyone disconnects, right, and just go forwards and you farm up all of the AFK vehicles. When you actually get 14 kills in a real battle, absolutely amazing. So, Salsa Ninja, congrats on getting your third mark of excellence deserved, 100% deserved, and your Zane Knight Heroes Medal. GG, well played, amazing game. I enjoyed every, every second of this replay. So, thank you so much for uploading it on what replays. Um, but yeah, this is it for this video. Let me know in the comments what do you think actually of the SC-12244. Maybe now you actually want to, to go and get it for yourself, seeing how crazy, how crazy this vehicle is. Um, let me know in the comments your thoughts, your opinions on the vehicle, on the replay, right? But yeah, this is it for this video. So thank you so much everyone for watching. Stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tatas, have a good one, people.